G'day, I'm Sydney Cross and I'm in my potager garden here at the Post and Rail, a cooking and gardening school. Um, this is my potager garden and behind me I've got a bed of potatoes and I'm very excited about these potatoes because I've planted four different colours and if you look really closely you can actually see that each row of potatoes has a different shape and even a different flower colour. So I've planted the blue ones and the pink ones and the Kipler ones and the Pontiac ones. So it's um, purple Congo and pink sapphire are the two other colour ones where the actual flesh of the potato is pink and is blue, which is super cool. I just can't wait to make rain. Um, also purple mashed potato, I just love to bring someone out with that one. Um, but they are absolutely delicious. the soil you have a little dig and you often find a potato that's really close to the soil and you grab that potato and the plant doesn't even know it's missing and so by the time you do that around a few of the plants you've actually got enough for a feed so that's called bandicooting the good thing about bandicooting and the reason that you do it is it tastes amazing the skin is so soft and um, fresh that you rub it off under the tap of water. That's all you need to do to prepare it for cooking. The texture of that new potato is something you cannot find at a supermarket. You cannot find it um, at the end of the season. It's one of these things that you do. we do here generally before Christmas. Um, you come and bandicoot a feed of potatoes from your potato crop. I usually wait till, see these ones in the middle here that are a bit smaller, I usually wait until they're a bit bigger and they've started to flower. Once they've started flowering, oh I see a white one down the end there, once they've started flowering they're actually at the point where you can bandicoot um, without damaging the plant. I don't know if you can see it's a pretty flower here. Um, once you see a flower it's bandicooting time and so you just have a little dig around with your hand, pull up the potatoes and you have an amazing meal. 20 minutes later you're eating new potatoes which will never taste this ever in your life. 